Good morning. I'm Peter Milios from the Finance News Network. Stocks tumbled Friday as tech-focused lender Silicon Valley Bank shut down following losses in its bond portfolio, prompting the biggest bank failure since the global financial crisis and sending shockwaves through the banking sector. The turmoil among bank stocks overshadowed a February jobs report, which gave some hints that inflation could be slowing. Payrolls increased more than expected, but investors focused on the smaller than expected gain in wages, which may cause the Federal Reserve to rethink its aggressive stance on rate hikes. On Friday, the Dow Jones Industrial Average dropped for a fourth consecutive day, finishing 1.1% lower. The S&P 500 lost 1.5%, and the Nasdaq Composite shed 1.8%. All the major averages capped off the week with losses. The Dow fell 4.4% to post its worst weekly performance since June. The S&P 500 dropped 4.6%, while the Nasdaq lost 4.7%. The rapid collapse of Silicon Valley Bank on Friday has shattered confidence in the US banking industry after years of stability. Regional bank stocks tumbled in the wake of Silicon Valley's bank's demise, with the SPDR S&P Regional Banking ETF losing nearly 4.4%. For the week, the regional bank fund lost about 16%, its worst week since March of 2020 as the pandemic hit. Several bank stocks were repeatedly halted on Friday, including First Republic, PacWest and crypto-focused Signature Bank. First Republic dropped 14.8% and PacWest shed 37.9%. Some bellwether bank stocks suffered smaller losses, even as SVB's fallout wreaked havoc on regional names. Goldman Sachs and Bank of America fell 4.2% and 0.9% respectively. SIVB was a bank heavily focused on the Silicon Valley tech industry, relying heavily on tech industry for both deposit funding and loans. As the US Federal Reserve raised interest rates and impacted the tech industry, SIVB began losing deposits rapidly. Between 2022 and March of 2023, SIVB lost over $30 billion in deposits, mainly due to its concentration in the tech industry. On Thursday last week, depositors reportedly tried to pull out roughly $42 billion on that day alone. Critically, SIVB did not hedge any interest rate risk, meaning it did not balance its long-term interest rate risk on its asset book with the short-term interest rate risk on its deposit book. SIVB only used 43% of its $173 billion in deposits for normal loans, and the remaining 57% was invested in financial market securities with significant interest rate risks. SIVB chose not to hedge these risks, which ultimately was the root cause of its demise. Canva, a prominent Australian technology company, is facing difficulties in recovering funds deposited with Silicon Valley Bank, along with several other Australian firms. Despite this, Venture capital funds are confident in their ability to provide funding for their portfolio companies in the short term. Bigger picture though, analysts are now asking, is this a one-off or a warning about the potential damage to the financial and technology sectors of economies from the year-long surge in inflation and rapid rate rises from the Fed and other central banks? On Friday, overall, S&P 500 sectors closed lower. Consumer staples was the best of the bunch, whilst real estate was the worst. The SPY futures are pointing to a 0.6% fall. Thank you for listening. Have a great week.